What's going on guys, Josh here. I am joshrussell.com and I want to make a quick video on something that I think is super important and that is creating your own portfolio website. I know a lot of uh, the photographers, videographers, they use Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that for their portfolio. The thing is, is what happens if one of those social media platforms crashes uh, or goes out of business or something like that? Your business would technically be crumbled by the fact that you no longer have a portfolio. You no longer have somewhere to send potential clients. So I want to show you how super easy it is to build a quick portfolio website uh, on a program like or a website like Wix. That's who I use. I know Squarespace is also one. This video is not sponsored by anybody. Uh, I'm doing this completely by myself. However, uh, I do have a Wix affiliate link down in the description down below. If you would like to set up a Wix website like how I am, uh, please use that link. It does help me out. I get a percentage of the, the sales from the monthly. But they do also have a free hosting platform. And that's what I'm going to show you how Wix's free pl hosting platform can be used to your advantage. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in and I'm going to basically show you how to set up a sample portfolio page. Now my website is way more in depth. I have multiple pages, but I'm just going to show you the quick uh, little easy way to set one up. And then you can kind of go from there and dive in as far as you want, as far as making your own portfolio with a contact page, with a client uh, password protected page for galleries, you can pretty much add whatever you want to these style, like uh, click and build websites. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let's get into it. I'm going to go over into this screen here so you can see and you'll be able to watch it and be able to see what I do. So this is the back end of Wix. Now you do need to click on that link or go to Wix.com or Squarespace or something like that and create a, a profile, an account, and go from there. Now, once you do that, this is the back end. This is my site's. I have my wedding site and my Josh Russell Studio site. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do this basically step by step so you can create your own website as well and, and basically follow along with this. So let's get into it. I'm going to try to make this as quick and easy and painless as I can. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click create new site. And it's going to bring this up and it's going to ask you what kind of website do you want to create? I want to create a photography website. And then, boom, right here, these are all templates that you can use. You can get started this quick, creating a website and making it look like a portfolio for you. So uh, let's just scroll down a little bit. I'm actually going to use this first one. Uh, you can view them if you want. It'll actually show you like a little demo of it and show you what it'll look like going down like this. Uh, we're just going to use this first one, but there are like literally tons and tons and tons of templates. Super easy, super quick to get started. You can also start from scratch, like blank templates right up here. I highly suggest starting with a template. Now, the downside about it is, is if you start with a template, you cannot change that template. Well, it's, it, it, with Wix, that is. I don't quite know how Squarespace works, but with Wix, uh, once you create a template, you can't change your template. You have, have to actually go in and create a whole new website and then forward the domain over to the new website and all of that. So take your time and decide if you want to start with a template or if you want to start blank, what you want to do. Now, with that being said, you can completely change said template when you get into here. So like I said, we're going to click on this edit one, or edit this template. Uh, it's going to take a second. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to create it for you. Okay, so once it created it for you, uh, you're pretty much ready to go. I mean, this, this website is pretty much ready to go, except for you want to change some stuff out. Uh, and what I'm going to do is because I want to make this as simple as I can, I'm going to literally just make this one page. So I'm going to take all these pages. I'm going to click on right here. This first one is your site menu. It's your pages. I'm going to literally click on these and just delete them all. You could, you could leave them all if you want uh, and, and kind of go this route and make each sub page. But for the simplification of this tutorial, I'm literally just going to make one page. So let's just get rid of all these. Keep deleting, keep deleting. Uh, I guess I could have left the About Me section. Uh, let's, let's leave the About Me. Uh, we're going to get rid of this book a session because I don't want to get too confusing uh, because I'm actually going to put a, like a contact on the page. So we're going to get rid of this book a session. I could probably go into that later and, and show you a little bit more. We're also going to get rid of this client area because I don't want you guys getting confused with that. 
Okay, so what I did is I left portfolio and I left bio. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on portfolio. And as you can see by the little house right here, this is going to be your home page. This is what's going to show up when you go to, uh, you know, Bob Thompson Photography or, wh or whatever you decide to make your name uh, or whatever your business name is, I should say. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm actually going to. So this, this is your header. You can change this if you want. You can change the background color, the background header design. Uh, you can change it. You can go in and pretty much change whatever you want. You can customize this. So let's let's go. I mean, if I wanted to go more gray, I could go right. Could go more gray, um, but I'm actually not. I'm going to leave it pretty much white. And I want to get rid of this, and I want to get rid of this because I have my own logo. You could you could literally just go in here and just change this and say, uh, let's just let's stay with Bob Thompson. I don't know a Bob Thompson, but it sounds good. So you could go in here and change it like that. You can uh, edit text again. You can change your fonts if you want to put a different font in. You want to do something like that. You can do all of this with just a few clicks of the click of buttons. And here's what we're going to do, though, is I'm going to get rid of this. Delete. And I'm actually going to get rid of this login bar, too, because I don't need that. All right, so this is your header. Don't get rid of your header or your, your navigation bar, I should say. Don't get rid of that because you're going to want to leave that there. And, but what you can do is let's say I want to add in a logo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click add. I'm going to click and it's this plus button. I'm going to click, and this is where you can see all of the stuff you can add to a website. But I'm going to click image, and I'm going to go my web uh, image uploads. And because I don't have any images for this website yet, I'm going to click upload, upload from computer, and then you're going to navigate to where your photos are. So my photos are actually, I just created a, YouTube tutorial, open, and then I have my logo stored right here. So it's going to upload the logo, and it should be pretty much drag and drop from there. So let's get the logo. The logo the logo is there. Add to page. Here's your logo. You just want to bring it up so it's in. So it says attached to header right here. Then my, my logo is now in my header. Now I created my logo in uh, Photoshop as a transparent PNG. So it, that's going a little bit further than what you would with just a normal website. But I wanted to do that. All right, so I got my logo there. We're going to go in here, and we're going to edit this text, and we're going to say Wisconsin-based award-winning wedding photographer. So I just created a little header. And the reason that I want to do this as a... Uh, as text is because Google's going to crawl your website and they're going to see text. Uh, images don't show up in search results as much as text do. Okay, so now we got that. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change these photos because these clearly are not my photos. So you just click on this uh, column here, this group, this, and click Manage Media. And what you can do is you can just select all. You can delete these because those are not your photos. Now you're going to want to go back in. You're going to want to add your own photos. So add images. Upload media because you don't have any photos on here yet. And we're going to just select these photos that I've already pre-selected. You can put whatever you want on here. But I selected those photos. Those are some quick ones that I grabbed. I figured they'd be easy to put in there. So that's what we're doing. Now the upload process does take a little bit because... I'm uploading really big full resolution files because I forgot to save smaller versions. So, but this is a good way to get your photos out there without needing Instagram, without using Facebook and getting them on a website and being able to tell someone that you have an actual website. Personally, I just feel like it sounds way more professional than saying, Oh yeah, check out Josh Russell weddings on Facebook because I do have a Facebook page but I very rarely send people to it because I would rather them see my website that I've created. And you can, like you're seeing as this happens, you can create a professional website by yourself in less than 20 minutes for an easy website. So we're going to let these upload and then I'm going to skip ahead. So one second. Okay. So those photos are all done uploading. So now I'm ready to go. All right. So I have these five photos. Sorry, six photos. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control click or command click each one. That way they're all selected. 
add to page. Now you can add in uh, details before you go to actually putting these on the, or going to the page. Once these are all in here, you're going to want to add in like who they are or something like, uh, let's go beautiful farm wedding. Uh, earthy, needy, bride photo. And the reason I'm doing this is because these are all SEO uh, keywords in the back end. So a smiling groom on the farm. Kisses under the willows. Wedding dress by barn. And I should be adding in descriptions as well. Um, drinks on the farm. And then so, so you'd want to go in and you'd want to say something like the wedding party, having a drink. On the farm after the wedding ceremony in Wisconsin, because what you're doing is you're um, you're adding in a ton of keywords by doing that, like wedding party, uh, farm, wedding ceremony, Wisconsin. So you want to do that when you're doing it. So this one, I want I know that where it was shot. So a bride stands in front of a barn at the Bog Golf Course in Wisconsin. So you'd want to go through and you'd want to do that for all of them. You don't need to add a link uh, because you don't really want them to go away from the page. Uh, so yeah, but you're going to want to add in a title and description on each one. Hit done. They're there. So those photos are already on. Now I have six photos on this website for a gallery. But if I wanted to change it, I could change it uh, to not be full width. If I want to keep them smaller, which I tend to do, but that's just personal preference. I like them smaller like this because then you, it, it allows you to go in and change some of the settings a little bit. Like you can go in here, click settings, click layout, and then you can change it to like a collage style or you can change it to masonry where, where it'll make them different sizes. Uh, you can make it a, just a slide bar or a slider. You can make it thumbnails. You can make it bricks. Like you can do all sorts of stuff with this. So I'll keep it like this. I like this style. And we will go like this. Now the photos are not showing up here, but I promise they will when you when you share them. It just takes a little bit to load them. Uh, so yeah. All right, so your website is pretty much ready to do. The only thing that I would say that I would add would I would go here and add in a... Um, where is... Contact form. There we go. You're going to add in a contact form, which I'll do down here at the bottom, underneath the gallery. Bring this down a little bit. And it's nice because all you have to do is literally just drag it onto the screen and then or drop it onto the screen, and then you can drag it wherever you want. So we'll go there. We're actually going to take it, and we're going to move the whole thing to the center of this empty thing. So let's bring that down a little bit and hit center this. Uh, you see the purple line that is actually centering it to the screen or to the website. So that's that. And then you can go in here and you can um, form settings. And all of this stuff is included in Wix. So it's all technically free. Now you can upgrade and get more features on pretty much every module that you can put on the, on the website. But you don't need to. Uh, let's go contact. You want the email notifications. You can decide if it's mandatory. You can find out where you want it to send to. So this is sent into an old address. I'm not going to change it. Um, a submission table, form submission limit. Uh, you can go in and submit form. You can say, like, uh, what's the message after they do? Thanks for messaging us. And then that, so, that'll, so that changed it right here. So that's, that shows how long it's, it is there. Uh, you can send it pretty much anywhere you want. They can pay you right through here. Uh, you can save all the contacts. You can choose the field. So, like, you can just choose what you want to save from it. Uh, and then this will send it automatically to your email. So, 
set up email notifications, add new contributor. So you can go in here and you can change all of this and decide if you want more people to get emails. What you want to do, you can, it's crazy what you can do to this. But that's good. Uh, I want, you know, their first name, last name, phone, uh, and then type of message. I have mine set up a little bit different because mine runs through a, a third-party platform called HoneyBook. But this is, it's a great way to get started. So you've got all this set up. This is your header down here. Don't forget to change this. So you'd want this to also say, you know, um, Josh Russell Studios. And then, you know, you can change you can You can pretty much make it what you want. You can put your website down here. You can put your phone number down here. You can do whatever you want. Josh Russell. Okay. You can go here. You can set your social links because this is already here. So you got your Facebook. Then you would just enter in your, your Facebook website or your Facebook right here. So let's go Josh Russell Weddings. And then you go, go along and do each one. You can add icons if you want. So if you want to add in, let's say you want to add in uh, your Instagram, you could do that. And, and, and there are also different styles here. So I would try to match everything up. Because you have these black ones here, I would try to uh, match them all up so they look the same. So let's go down here where there's more options. Oh, did I pass them? Oh, there we go. Um, IG. Oh, I, Instagram was already on here. That's why I couldn't find it. But yeah, so you can add them, and then you just add your link, and then you click done, and you have all these set up. Uh, one thing I did forget to tell you is when you added your header image, click on it, hit link, and link it to your home page. Uh, page right here, portfolio. Because if you navigate away from this page, your home page, you have no way to get back to it. So make sure you have that. Uh, you can also click this mobile button right here. And it'll show you exactly what your website is going to look like on a phone. So then you can kind of make some changes if you need to, uh, depending on what you want your website. Like this one has all this extra space down here. So I'm just going to drag this up and get rid of all that space that does not need to be there. Grab again. Move it up. Boom. So like as you can see, this website took us 15 minutes and... You're pretty much ready to go. The only thing you need to do is go into this bio page, click here, click bio, and change this. So I would add in an image of myself. I'm not going to. Uh, and then you have another contact form here. You just go into settings, change the form, double-click this, edit this, uh, and you change all of this pretty much. And your header and your footer will stay the same on every page that you add. So if you want to add a new page, you can go to pages and menu, add page, add another page. Before I let you guys go, I'm going to show you how to publish this, uh, both a free and a paid version. But before we do that, I want to make sure you have your SEO set up because a lot of people forget about SEO. So what you're going to want to do, click on the, the pages menu, hit these three little uh, dots right here, or four, three dots, uh, then go to setting or SEO, Google. This is super important that you set this up. So you want to make this uh, Josh Russell. change it to that because this is pretty much a wedding site then you're going to want to go like um weddings by josh russell then this is super important to fill this out because this is what shows up on google search results so i want to do like wisconsin based award winning wedding photographer servicing Wisconsin and Central Florida destination weddings available. So, and then you can see, you can actually see what, if someone searched for you on Google, what it would look like. So if someone searched like wedding photographer, um, wedding, so let's actually change this, like wedding photography by Josh Russell. Uh, and you can you can even change it like uh, Wisconsin Wisconsin wedding photography by Josh Russell, uh, Wisconsin based award winning wedding photographer servicing Wisconsin and Central Florida. That's where I'm mainly photographing. Uh, destination weddings available. 
So then they can kind of already see what's going on with your website before even going to it to, to kind of gauge if it's something they're even looking for. What that's going to do is it's going to allow, allow Google to find you quicker and potentially boost you up higher into the search results. So that's good. You do want to go over here and hit social share because if you don't, it's not going to share a uh, an image when you type in whatever your website is uh, into like Facebook or Instagram or something like that. So click upload and just, I would make a header. I would make an image that fits. But for this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to click one of my photos and bring it in. And it will uh, basically just, then when you share this on the internet, it'll show that image instead of just showing nothing. So there you go. So already, this is what it's going to look like if you were to share this on Facebook. It would show all of this information. Uh, so you're all set to go. This website is all set up. All you have to do is publish. So go up here and you hit publish. When you do that, it's going to publish it. And then all you have to do is you just have to uh, make sure that everything is set up. And this is where you can see your website. So if you click on this, you see your website. You're all set up. Now, this is a free version, so it's going to have this banner up top. If you want to upgrade, you totally can. And you just hit start now, and it'll walk you through the credit card purchase process. You can, with Wix, you can get uh, email addresses based around your .com. You can set up your .com straight through here. You can do all sorts of different hosting options right through here. And I basically just touched on a little bit of the modules as far as what you can actually do with Wix. And Squarespace, I know, is very similar. But, I mean, you can... You can go in here and you can add all sorts of stuff. Like you can add videos in here. You can upload actual upload videos. You can put YouTube videos. You can do Facebook videos. You can go in here and add more uh, embed stuff. Like if you do know coding, you can code it yourself and add in your own Instagram feed in here. You can do all sorts of stuff with this website. It's crazy. You can start blogs on it. You can run a store right through Wix. There's so much stuff that you can do with this platform. And like I said, I know Squarespace is another one. I chose Wix years ago. I love Wix. I send everybody to Wix. And if it's something that you want to look into and you want to make your own portfolio, like I said, the link is in the description down below. I'm going to get out of here. I hope, I hope, I hope this video helped you. Please get out there and make a portfolio. It's honestly the first thing I ask everybody, every photographer that I meet is, what's your website address? Where's your portfolio located? Anybody that comes in here and wants to intern, first question I ask them is, where is your website? What website are you hosting on? Let me know. All right, I want to know from you guys. Drop it in the, or in the comments down below. Let me know where your website is. I want to check out your websites. Maybe I'll even do like some critiquing on them. Thanks again. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I will talk to you guys later in the next video. Peace.